don't even know, man. Uh, you know, guys, as a content creator, as just doing YouTube, we never want to, like, make repetitive content. That's not our, like, goal. You know what I'm saying? That's not... We're not thinking that, you know? But right now, life is just... It's been crazy. And things are happening every single day with us. You know, if I would have known about this whole family chapter, I would have never opened this chapter up because it made my chapter with Angelica worse. And at the time, it was like, I just wanted to do everything I could for my girl. And it affected us at the end. You know what I'm saying? And you guys aren't going to see Angelica for, for a very long time. You know, I... I don't want to say it's the end of me and Angelica. I'm pretty sure we're still together. You know, I, I might not even put that up because, like, let, I'm just going to leave it like this. I love that girl so much. We all know this. She needs time to heal. I'm giving her that time to heal. I am moving forward. I'm giving her that time to heal. I'm not going to make a video tomorrow saying, I don't want you back now or, or I'm moving on. I want to genuinely give Angelica time to heal. You know, we're in our 20s, you know, and we're all going to make mistakes and we're all going to go through things in life. And I feel like if me and Angelica are truly, truly meant to be, we'll find our way back, you know, and not only we'll find our way back, but when it is time, it's going to be better than ever. And I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you guys right now like wait to the end of the video so I can really open on open up on what happened. I'm just going to say it right now. You know, I'm going to just get into it right literally right now. Angelica been dealing with a lot of hateful comments. You know, she leaves the channel. You guys miss her. I miss you. I miss you, Joe. Or she's staying she stays leaving. She's always running away. And then she comes back, oh, now she's back, oh, this is fake, or, oh, she leaves, oh, see her tomorrow, they're just saying, like, this video probably, oh, see you tomorrow, like, this is real life, guys, and I should have never vlogged it, I guess, and I feel like I messed up everything because I vlogged it, and I just love YouTube, I love the Richway family, and Angelica loves you guys so much. She loves every single subscriber. Lately, the comments about her, about her family, it made her never want to be on camera again. It made her, I don't know if she stopped loving it, but it made her just not want to be a part of anything. You know, we just did a video yesterday because we were in the moment. You know, I took her to the beach. We were in the moment, and we I did a little prank on her. She didn't enjoy it after it went up because the comments. The comments, oh, this is fake. You guys just did a prank. me while she just came back. Like, I have to live my life, guys. Like, I want to I wanna joke with Jell. She just came back. I want to joke with Jell. I want to ease, ease our relationship, ease, you know, like... Like squeeze my way back where we left off. Like I was being a little jokester. She don't want. She don't want to see those comments. And it's just, I messed up. I messed up. I apparently wasn't being enough. And that's how I genuinely, and truly feel. And to be honest, if Angelica never enters my life again and she walks away, I can truly say to myself, I didn't do my part. You know what I'm saying? I should have been there more, you know, and and whatever she does in life, man, if she moves forward, if we, I don't know, if we, if we grow apart, with the time not being together, if we grow apart, it's gonna suck, man, like, I'm like, you know, and the reason why I said I didn't do my part is I feel like I could have, I feel like I could have put the camera down and I could have took her on vacation, especially with all that's going on. I, maybe, 
maybe we could have done done the family journey and go meet her dad and and figure out the mom and stepdad and this whole thing but then maybe i could have put the camera down and took her on vacation and, and not vlog it and let her let let her ease her mind and, and come home and okay let's figure out let's keep doing let's keep going with this journey but i didn't and when you're dealing with someone that's having family problems they they can lose themselves and that's what i felt with angelica like she lost herself and if i was a good boyfriend i would never let her lose herself and in the mix of that just we got worse Because when someone doesn't, when someone loses themselves, like, you can just imagine, like, the relationship. And we had amazing times, you know, and this is not a breakup video. I'm not labeling this like we broke up, you know. But Angelica's not going to be here for a little while, for sure. I know that. I. For a little while or for potentially ever, I don't, but right now her main focus is healing, being away from each other, and, uh, yeah, and I want to, I want to say this while we're talking right now, it's like, bullying is not cool, you know, in the comment section, there have been a couple, there have been a couple of those, you know, been a couple bullies we, and that took a toll. That took a toll. You know, it made it made Angelica feel so insecure about herself. And now I find myself alone. I find myself by myself. With Saint Galaxy. You know, I have my brother here, but like I was saying, he's doing his own thing and I'm I'm happy for him and stuff. And I'm always gonna respect Jill. I'm never gonna say anything bad about her. I'm always gonna respect us. I want you guys to really know this. I'm always gonna respect us until, or I don't know, until, I don't know, until she just doesn't want anything to do with me, I guess. I don't know, she really just needs to find herself and let herself heal. And I'm saying this because that's what she's telling me. I'm not just out here saying, like, my girl need to find herself. Like, this is what she's telling me. So I can't do anything about it. So I just want to make this video, let you guys know everything. I love her. I will always love her. That's my world. And I just feel like shit, bro. It's like, you know when guys, please, like, use me. As an example, don't think about all the things you didn't do when it's too late. Use me as that example. So if you're in a relationship right now, don't put your relationship first. Not don't, I'm telling you to put your relationship first. Put your relationship first. And you know, and maybe that's where I, 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 trust me guys, I love Joe, trust me, I treat her, I, trust me, I do my part. But, this time alone right now, I noticed the things that I didn't do. So please use me as an example, put your relationship first, love each other so much, and enjoy each other's company and just appreciate each other. You know, man, this is gonna be rough for me, and what makes it more rough is because there's just a lot of stuff in life, you know, it's a lot of stuff in life, but Oh. 
I, I hate making these videos. I never want to make this video, man. I hate making videos like this. To be honest, guys, I feel like I lost Joe. I feel like I lost Joe. And moving forward, you know, I was thinking about maybe it's time to show you guys a, a little more about my life. A little more about my family situation. Maybe I should take you guys on a journey with me to see see my side of my family that I was always afraid of showing. There's so many things growing up that affected me in life and that side of the family is the reason why like I dealt with so much shit and I never wanted anything to do with them. But vlogging this experience with Angelica, vlogging her family and seeing Angelica go through what she went through it's making me want to open up and it's making me want to just face those things, you know? It's making me really want to meet up with my mom and ask her all those questions. It's really making me... There's so much stuff going on. Like, I just found out that my grandmother too, like, my, I don't know, she's going through something and... and she was very close with me. And it might be her final day soon. And I didn't see her. And it would be amazing to go out there and, you know, see her just in case anything happens. Because she had my back when I was little, when I was younger. And she let me live with her for like a couple months. It was crazy. It was like one day I was so young. And I was walking home, and I caught my mom with a guy, right, doing things. And I know this is like off topic, I guess, but it's just me opening up. I caught my mom with some dude, like, then they were doing their thing. And I was so young, and I seen that, and I'm just, I just ran away. I ran away, I used to live by like a train track kind of thing. I just, I ran down the whole train track, and I didn't stop, it was so far. And whenever I returned, I don't know if it was the same night, just in the middle of the night, or, well, I caught them at night. So it was maybe early, early in the morning or the next day. Whenever I returned, mind you guys, I was like eight years old. And my grandma, like, she let me live with her for a couple months. And I was really, really, like, sweet of her. And it's crazy because she's going through it right now. And I want to tell her thank you, you know what? I don't think I ever got to tell her thank you when I grew up, but that did mean a lot. <sighs> I do want to make this very, very clear. Very, very clear. The journey, the rich way family, the journey doesn't end. Journey is just beginning. And you know what? It's not just beginning, but the journey is only going to get better. And I really want you guys to know that and believe in that. Of course, of course my main goal is to let Angelica heal and hopefully we find each other and uh, we we get back and we're like the best versions of ourselves and, and all of that stuff. You know, I don't want anybody to be sad. This isn't a breakup video. Or it is, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna bother Angelica. I don't want, I. I just want it to be left like this, you know? Go heal. Go do your thing. I love you. I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to respect you. I'm going to be working on me. And the only way is up, you know? The journey is just getting started. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that I have to figure out after this video. I hope me and Angelica were able to get past this and grow from this. And if we grow apart, I just want her to be happy. Just be happy, Joe. Just be happy. Don't hit me up trying to argue. Don't hit me up at all. I'd rather you not hit me up at all. Don't hit me up at all. Whenever I see your name popped up, because you're not blocked, you're, you're, you know where I'm at. You're always welcomed. Whenever I see your name popped up, I want it to be for a good cause. And that's really about it, guys. We'll be going to the studio in New York, recording music, letting letting all my feelings out, 
and maybe we can come up with a, a great album and really dive deep into that. And I really, this is the main thing, I'm really going to see this bully, bro. Uh, I'm really, really going to see this dude who's a bully. Always been commenting, always been DMing my girl, saying he stays nearby in Miami. I'm going to see you, bro. I'm a, you want to you wanna be a bully? I'm going to see you. And I'm going to leave this video off like that. I'm going to see you. I love y'all. This is what it is. I can't promise you guys anything. Just stay tuned and hope for the best. I'll be here. Every time I think, I'm like... I'm looking over, I'm like, Joe's not here. And you know, like when she... And she just left. So it's like... I have to buckle up because it's going to be a few days and potentially forever. So it's just, I got to prepare myself like, all right, Rich, it's time. I don't know what I'm saying this whole video, guys. I'm just venting, but to just be, ha, ah. I have to, I have to get ready for whatever comes my way. That's pretty much it.